All right, guys. Uh, I drug all the rest of my buckets up from uh, down in the garden. I was gonna take some pictures, but uh, figured might as well just make a quick video and uh, post it in my grow log. Um, just kind of recap because uh, this is the end of end of my season. Anyway, uh, this is my Dugla crossed uh, it's a Trinidad Scorpion, the Butch T. Hopefully I can get some of the pods to ripen the rest of the way. Um, in the garage here, I think it's going to get super cold within the next couple days. Right here I got a, supposed to be a Boone Indian Carbon. But it was, uh, it must have crossed with something. Um, they're coming out with these really cool little stingers. That's not really a good example there. Um, I picked most of those off and sent them out. Uh. I'm not exactly sure if there's one left or not. Huh. There's kind of one. But anyway, on over here, this is my, my beauty brain strain. Um, this thing is just massive. I'm so proud of this thing. Uh, had huge roots when I busted the bucket up. I didn't even think that a plant could get that big um, in a five-gallon bucket, but it is what it is. Uh, it's still got quite a few green pods hiding out in here too um, and I got this chocolate scorpion uh, she's got some nice little pods on her there's quite a few green ones left um, hopefully get those ripen up too I don't know if I'm gonna save this one or not this one's a patilly it gave me all kinds of problems this year so you can see I got some super bad leaf curl up in there i've been fighting it and fighting it um i got her out of her stupor though as you can see uh but now uh, this here i don't know if i'm gonna keep this one or not either but uh seven pot congo sr i got one yeah i may keep i i don't know i might keep this one it's a nice plant though um up here Got all my rabbit cages. <laughs> I use them, I throw all their crap in the garden. Uh, there might be somebody hiding out somewhere. Can't really see them, it's kind of dark. Here's one. Hey Rex. Uh, anyway, a couple more. Here's another Fatilli. Um, it's a little smaller than that other one. This here's my Primo. Uh, nice, nice plant. I'm going to have to cut that one up soon. The pods are about done for. Uh, I may drag it in the garage. I'd, I guess there's a few more than I thought on her. But That's in a 20 gallon. I wish I would have filled it up. Probably would have got a lot bigger. Good sized plant. Um, got a 7 pot Jonah here. Also, decent size. Here's my Maruga. Um, this one's like taller than me. Right about here is eye level. So, yeah, I'm gonna trim this back and overwinter it as well. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, Changana. This one wasn't a very heavy producer for me. It produced some decent pods, I guess. But, uh, we'll try her out next year and see what it does. This here's my butch tea. Well, one of them, um, the pods come out kind of brainish looking, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure if those are right or not. I'm thinking not, but, oh well, it is what it is still. Another very healthy plant um white devil's tongue i'm hoping to get the rest of these this thing put out tons of pods every branch was just covered i plucked all kinds of these things off here but there's still bunches of them everywhere uh we got here infinity nice stock on her for sure um still got some pods uh another decent size plant and 
Oh, and Tilly's Fire. Another little decent sized plant there. The rest I've taken and I've already cut up. I got them at home. Uh, they should uh, go inside here soon. Actually, probably tonight. I get the rest of my lights and everything up. But um, <clears throat> I had a bunch of other stuff out here in the garden. Some of it, these were just planted with dirt. They didn't do or the crap. Uh, some of them are still small. They produce pods. I still have a few decent pods hanging. If I can get them to finish ripening, I'll dehydrate them, I suppose. This here was a maybe one of my favorite plants. It's a, it's chilly out right now. It's probably 50 degrees. Um, but it's still loaded with flowers. It's been cold. And when I lifted this thing up, it was just loaded with pods the whole time. This here was a super producer, too. Uh, Scorpionero, I picked piles of pods up this one plant. Absolutely ridiculous. They weren't the hottest, but any peppers nonetheless. Um, yeah, just little garbage plants all around here. And then I got... Some Kung Pao's and Cayennes and Super Chili's and stuff. Um, here's another Dugla XTS. Uh, I'm hoping this little pod here will ripen up soon. That one should be isolated. I glued the flower shut and uh, it did not open. And uh, pollinated itself, so good to roll there. <clears throat> I had one here, but as you see, the bugs got it. And, went bad on me so it is what it is i had a few others over here um and some in front of the house but i guess here's a just a boot i believe the jello key of the <clears throat> um but anyway like i said uh i guess this will wrap it up for me in my year i'm gonna cut the rest of these down today 